This is the upper air inflation shelter, and this is where we launch weather balloons. The National Weather Service here in Gaylord is only one of 70 or so stations in the entire country that launches weather balloons. We launch these weather balloons twice a day at either 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. As a matter of fact, all stations that launch weather balloons let them go at exactly the same time. Here are the components that make up a balloon launch. First, you have to have the actual balloon, which is a high-altitude balloon made of latex. This balloon can be filled with helium, although the National Weather Service uses hydrogen due to its lower cost. The balloon, once filled, gets tied off tightly by a thick string. The string gets tied to a parachute, and the bottom end of the parachute is attached with more string, which is finally tied off on an instrument called a radio sonde. All in all, the entire length of the string used is roughly 100 feet. Once the entire apparatus is complete, we walk the balloon out for release through one of the two large doors on opposite sides of the inflation shelter. There's two doors so that we can choose the one that won't blow the balloon back into the building. The radio sonde is the actual instrument which records and transmits the weather data as the balloon ascends. We measure temperature, pressure, and humidity. We also obtain wind speed and direction, which is calculated by using GPS technology. The data retrieved goes directly into the computer models that try and depict the evolution of the atmosphere. Weather balloon data is not all that goes into these computer models, but it is the primary data source for them. The rate at which the balloon ascends can be controlled by the amount of hydrogen gas used. What happens during a flight is that as the balloon goes higher and higher into the atmosphere, collecting weather data, atmospheric pressure continues to decrease. The less pressure allows the balloon to expand. The expansion of the balloon gets to be so great that it will burst, and the radio sound instrument will then descend to the ground. This is why the parachute is used. Some of the more interesting information on the balloon itself just prior to bursting, it can be as large as 20 feet in diameter and can reach as high as 25 miles, taking about an hour and a half to two hours to get there. Sometimes when weather conditions warrant, mainly for the expectation of significant severe weather, we will launch a special balloon release to get a diagnosis of the atmosphere just prior to storm development. This will further enhance our ability to forecast the type and strength of severe weather.